Division. The show is coming, baby, and it's gonna be just so different. No. No. The show is coming. present have been one of the UK's most successful independent bands over the last couple of years. Snub caught them in a Ukrainian mood and they talked about this unusual direction and their new major label deal. How did you get into playing Ukrainian music? It is Ukrainian music, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you, Peter. It's my one, this. Oh, this old story, here you go. Here we go, the old story. <laughs> We're down to Ukrainian. Right. Oh, no. Here we go. Hey, Money the kids. Yeah. Ridiculous. When you're a kid, you go to these, these ethnic schools to teach us the language and dance and things, but I never stopped that really. Time. So anyway, it's like a bit of a search for your past words. Right? I started playing the language, playing the records, I started learning a bit of language, learning a bit of songs, yeah. And it everyone else thought it was a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. That was a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an old friend. <laughs> old human, friend. Human, yeah. <coughs> very old, very old friend. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
You do feel a bit, a bit like a bit of an imposter sat here, like talking about something which really is, is quite simple to do. You know, uh, uh, it sort of uh, makes me wonder why, you know, like was it was it four or five music papers can be filled every week with, with, with mm -hmm. like people who are essentially musicians talking about something which is really simple to do. I mean, it's, it's an easy thing to do. Anyone can do it. And after you said that, I, I can't think of anything else to say, which is why I said it, you know, it'd be good if we, if we played. Yeah, talk about it quite long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, are you going to go into a, in a more commercial direction? I mean, is part of the idea of signing to a major? Oh, yeah, you've got to move up. Kylie. Kylie. Top, Kylie of the yeah. Top of the pops. Top of the pops. Yeah. Sky's limit, really, you know. Yeah. Such a quite much fun to have. You've got to shift your units. That's what it's all about. Exploiting your territories properly. World tours. World tours. Oh, it's worth it. Even further. Oh, dear. Those answers, no way. <laughs> <laughs> You've never mentioned this before. Oh, it seems I'm always last to know. And do I have to guess how you're going to feel each day? You never have a word to say. You should have told me. I don't understand. Why you didn't tell me? Surely you must know I hate what I'm doing. I don't want to upset you, but it's yourself you're fooling. The last thing I need is part 12 of the row. But just why are you being so reasonable now? Thank you. 
what I'm left with the words Just let me say something first You and yours deserve Everything you ever had in reserve It turns you a blur So everybody wonders where you are Jump over the curb and escape on her It was about uh, a general policy, I suppose. Just like keep on top of it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, things are flying out here all over the place. Too. Well, so, but it's not a preachy thing. Do you know what I mean? It's all these songs that they're basically getting something out of us, out of me, you know. And and uh, people find it. And will, cause I, I, I'm just, you know, everyone's the same. You know, everyone feels what I feel about certain things. And you can take and maybe it's one of those things like. It isn't just me that feels like that. It's a nice feeling. I've had that feeling off record. I still get it sometimes, you know what I mean? Nice to you know what I mean? It's what I was thinking. And Revan are unmistakably a Welsh band. They sing in Welsh. A fact that is both important and beside the point. They explain. It's the first question is always why you sing in Welsh and it's always seems more controversial than it is. In I fact that, you know, it hasn't been resistance. There's been misunderstanding of a lot of people. Um, we get asked those questions which like they wouldn't ask an African band, you know, why do you sing in Africa, or, you know, why are you black? It, you get those same sort of questions asked because we well sent anything, you know. You've got to do both things here, because yeah. we, we're playing the game to a certain extent, playing in London and things, obviously, if there's an audience there, which it is, then they deserve, you know, gigs. But you do do it because the media are there, so they can come see you, obviously. But, um, you know, we work at different levels, like we're going to Ireland, and we're going to be doing lectures in primary schools and further education colleges about the language. So we've got a whole, like, especially in Wales, we're playing schools and things, which yeah. it's something normal rock bands don't do. That's something that they always get to me with a... Uh, like the, the so-called indie scene, uh, a lot yeah, of it's, a lot of it is, you know, it's me, 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 I'm in a band, you know, I, I, where's the gig? And 
you know, they want to play in a, in a decent, cool club in front of decent, cool people. But that, that's just one audience. Like, you know, what about the schools, what about youth clubs? Why don't they play there? I mean, they just don't, people don't seem to do it in the Indies here. I, I find it really uh, big headed of people. People have said in the past, oh, you know, it's not innovative. But, I mean, it's not meant to be. I mean, you've got to have... Uh, people will say, oh, music's got to be innovative. It's just as narrow-minded as someone who only likes Kay, you know. You've got to have the whole lot. So, in one way, we're just doing four four, get up and dance to music. There's room for that. What about this new single then? What's, what's the actually the English title of that? That's What Next 89. It was done for Rockets the Rich, isn't yeah. it? It's but, see, What Next 89 sounds really bad. Yeah. It sounds... Well, you can it's guess. That. I mean, if you're living in anywhere outside South East England, and we're not having a go there either, but obviously what's going on in this country is, you know, a lot of people being, uh, you know, whatever they've been, knackered or whatever, yeah? Because of the government. And it does... We took part in the Rock Gets Rich tour, and it, it was all part of that, that the house prices going up. And it's like also like Thatcher's hammered everyone so much that there's no sense of, of, uh, of like, everyone in the same boat, like, um, humanism or togetherness or whatever. It's all, people have been hammered so much, it's like, got so, everyone thinks, I'm going to make sure I'm okay, I can't afford to worry about anyone else anymore got to look after myself, which is really bloody crafty, that bitch. She's got um, everyone just crawling for themselves. State are a nucleus of two, Martin Price and Graham Massey, who work with various rappers and DJs making some of the best underground, literally, dance music around. Filmed in a basement in Manchester, this is 808 State versus MC Tunes. Relax, but you can't rest stages. Crumble at my feet, mic is in 
the great erase and delete you efforts And I will come in my hometown Treat them out, get ill and boogie down low But we'll stay on top Hold your head cause your brain just might pop slow jam Send your mind on a hip trip House the beat for the lyrics are hip This is what I've got, I'm bubbling hot Scratch your jacket but a cup won't stop Twice the next double disc for the pump Hype the girl is make the women get pumped for the vibe Then I imply Shake your booty, make the boyfriend cry cold rolling Like a woman having orgasm It's not here, it's not for fantasm Ain't a waste, they do with company We come up and then we death for stating Dash yourself to death Dance yourself to death Dance yourself to death A member of both the Three Johns and the Mekons, and at home in Leeds, John Langford talked to Snub about the two bands, their different histories and approaches. The Mekons came first. That was when I was like uh, 19 years old. I joined the Mekons. What year was that? Um, Wait, so we can date you. <laughs> 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 That's when I was 12 years old. Maybe. <laughs> that was in 1977. Tom was the other person who's still in the Mekons now. He just asked me if I wanted to be in a band where no one could play. And I thought that's certainly like quite easy. And you had to be in a band then because of like punk rock. Stepping over broken bodies Ignore my trembling hands Don't think of this as blood I know it is just pretend it doesn't hurt Hello, cool world Hello, cool world Hello, cool world Hello, cool world We weren't a musician's band, for that way. I don't think we are now, even though there's some good musicians in the meeting. We were never a musician's band. The same thing's true to say the three Johns with them more to do with the content and the sort of approach and the virtuosity. Herbert Marcuse said the, the enduring thing about capitalism is that whatever you do, whatever you throw at it, it will absorb it and sell it back to you. And that's the simple rules of sort of... Punk rock was only exciting for a, a very little while. There's certain sort of points about it which are still sort of like work with what I'm involved in there. Just the idea that it's not really, you shouldn't really be doing it just for the cash. You know. but you could probably say that to Woody Guthrie. Or, you know. A lot of people. I am Bono, and this is a Woody Guthrie tribute. <laughs> 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 